More fun than movies, this is Trailer Told, a YouTube channel in the world. Thank you for clicking. Check out the playlist for a different video. Subscriptions are a big boost. Aurora has always seen the world in her own way, with the spirit and material realms blended together before her eyes. Originally from a tribe of Astyan carrot farmers in the Freljord, she now wanders far and wide to study and help spirits in need. This is field research. Altruism and fluffy tail aside, Aurora is also a skilled witch who bunboozles her opponents with powerful spirit magic combos. Fascinating. I'll review this later. So perk up those ears. It's time for the Aurora Champion Spotlight. Let us start with Aurora's passive, Spirit Abjuration. When she hits an enemy champion with three spells or attacks, she deals damage based on their max health and frees a wayward spirit. The spirit then heals Aurora for a small amount and empowers her with Spirit Mode for a few seconds. Spirit Mode grants bonus move speed to keep her going and going and going and going and going. Aurora can shepherd up to four Spirit Buddies at a time. Each one increases her Spirit Mode buff and refreshes its duration. That's what I call Team Spirit. All together now? Aurora's Q is twofold hex. She curses enemies in a line, damaging and marking their spirits. Then she can recast to draw the energy back, damaging enemies it passes through. The recast damage scales based on opponents missing health, so weave in as much extra damage as possible before recalling your hex for a dramatic finish to your combo. They'll be wandering what hit them. Enough of that, thank you. Aurora prefers to stay one jump ahead of the enemy, and her W across the veil helps her do just that. She hops in a direction and vanishes into the spirit realm, becoming invisible for a short time. Between worlds. Upon landing, she also enters spirit mode for a little burst of speed. While W is a strong escape tool, its cooldown resets on takedown, so if you see a chance to pick some bunny off, it might be worth taking the leap. How does anyone fight for this long? It's exhausting. With E, the weirding, Aurora hops backward to safety while invoking nearby spirits to damage and slow enemies in a line. The weirding can help slow a target when they're trying to turn tail, or it can create some much needed distance when an opponent gets too close. She likes her personal space, okay? Stay back! And now the final ingredient in this witch's brew, Between Worlds. Aurora's ult opens a rift that blends the spirit and material realms for a few seconds. The pulse damages and slows enemies, and those inside are trapped with Aurora. If they touch the threshold, they're pushed back toward the center and slowed again. Aurora can't leave the area either, but she enters an empowered spirit mode while inside, gaining an even bigger move speed buff. And when she touches the threshold, she warps safely to the other side of the zone. Between Worlds is a very powerful tool for containing groups of enemies, especially in areas where you can use terrain to your advantage. With the ability to move freely and quickly around the area, Aurora can keep the enemy team guessing while her allies follow up for a wombo combo. Be very careful about who you trap, though. Enemies with blink abilities can easily slip out of the area, and others can lock Aurora down or knock her into the threshold on purpose to catch her out. Talk about a bad hair day. Altogether, Aurora's kit is designed for her to deal quick bursts of damage while slipping away from enemies like the clever cottontail she is. During the laning phase, focus on clearing waves, using the move speed from spirit mode to position around your opponent, and looking for opportunistic trades as they come. QEQ -E is her most reliable damage combo. It can proc her passive across multiple targets, whether it's a whole wave of minions or a group of enemies in a teamfight. Speaking of teamfights, that's where Aurora's spellbook really shines. Use Across the Veil to get in a position, then unleash a barrage of AoE spirit magic to turn them all into rabbit food. Move! I'm busy. Or funnel enemies into a tight area before trapping them between worlds for your team to finish the job. You'll enjoy being a spirit. It's nice. Aurora's range is on the shorter side, so she may struggle to reach champs who can poke from afar. She also doesn't want anyone in her personal bubble. If someone like an assassin or bruiser gets within hair's reach while her escape tools are on cooldown, she'll be in for lots of toil and trouble. Back to the spirit realm. Wondering if Aurora is the bun for you? Mage players will probably feel comfy and cozy with her spell combos, especially if you enjoy Ari and Nico. Likewise, those with a mischievous streak, <clears throat> Timo, Shaco, LeBlanc, you may enjoy Aurora's bag of tricks as well. She's got everything you need to keep your opponents chasing their tails. Do any of you want to talk about spirits? I'll assume that's a yes. Looks like that's all, folks! Aurora, the Witch Between Worlds, is ready to rescue spirits across the rift and teach everyone who gets in her way a powerful lesson. 
So jump into the action and learn more at the links below.